Pre-built versus custom built. Custom build is either going to be more computer for the money or it's going to be a little bit less expensive because you are providing the labor and you are providing the tech support and you are providing all the compatibility checking and all of the research. The return for that is you get to build exactly what you want with exactly the parts you want. You get to pick everything out and customize it and build it and you get to know the system. And if you want to do that, great. I build computers. Awesome. Does everybody want to do that? No. Do some people want to click one button, buy one item, one box shows up, they take it out of the box, they plug it in the wall, they turn it on, Windows is there, they type in their registration information, they run Windows Update, update the video drivers, install their game, and start playing their game. Yes, press the button. So this computer here is $1,100. Linked in the video description below is this computer custom built from Newegg for about $950. For that $950, you get a similar case with ARGB fans like this, with AC Wi-Fi, keyboard, mouse, windows, etc., 500 gig SSD, etc. $150 less. For that $150, you get a pile of boxes that you have to then build, install windows, make sure it all works. Yep. And if you enjoy that process, rock on. Or for $150, it just comes working. There is a place in this business for both types of people. There are. And I think that it is unfortunate within the enthusiast community. Yes. That there are so many people. A lot of judgment. Who. One guy on Twitter today actually replied to my live stream announcement. And he actually said that he felt that anybody who buys one of these pre built and doesn't build their own is lazy. I find that offensive. Yeah. I am perfectly capable of changing the oil on my car. I don't. Because for the $30 the local Quick Loop place charges me, I get two things. Number one, I don't get my hands dirty. And number two, I don't save $10. No. And number three, if anything goes wrong or the oil leaks and my engine goes bad, it's their problem and not mine. Yes. That's worth 10 bucks to me. I can do a lot of things. I could learn to retile my bathroom. <laughs> you could. Use a level. <laughs> I could retile my bathroom, but you know, there's just some times in life that you pay somebody to do something so you don't have to. Correct. When we got this place, yep. we replaced all of the wall switches and all yes. of the electrical sockets, which were 20 years old. A couple of them were broken. They were the old style switches. It wasn't yes. very expensive to buy the switches. I mean, it was a couple hundred bucks on Amazon to buy all the switches for the house. Yeah. It was more money yeah, to pay an electrician. electrician to put them all in. But see, we didn't hire a handyman. No. We hired an actual electrician. electrician. Now, could I have done what he did? Oh, yeah. But it took him, like, a long time. <laughs> it and he knew what he was doing. It took a long... You don't think you have very many outlets and wall switches. We did every outlet and every wall switch, top to bottom. Mm-hmm. It took all day and well into the night. It did. And, you know, he actually was pretty reasonable because he, he, we were able to renegotiate on the rate at the end, which was because I said, there's this, come on. I said, this is no way. Um, so I could have done it. But what's a full day of my time worth? A lot. Now, here's another question. What if I do it, there's a problem, and I burn the place down? Bad. Knock on wood. He has insurance. He's a yes, licensed correct. electrician. He has a, a liability policy. Some of that money you're spending is you're making it his problem. Yes. There's something to be said for that. So for all of the enthusiasts out there who think that this is dumb and stupid and nobody should ever buy one, take a long, hard look at your life. And if I sound defensive, it's because of the endless freaking comments I get from people who go, oh, it's just dumb. 
That's an awfully self-centered view of things when people say that, isn't it? It is. Now, having said that, mm -hmm. I do custom build my PCs. And here's the funny part. What I'm about to show you is the custom built version of this, but I wouldn't build this. <laughs> no, you wouldn't.